This is a breaking news alert from 7 Action News. I'm Dave Llewellyn in the 7 Action Newsroom. Uh, hope you're enjoying your Saturday afternoon. If you've been out on the roads today, you know there are some serious, serious issues. Hazardous driving conditions as a result of some quick moving snow squalls throughout southeast Michigan. Now, it may not be snowing where you're at right now, but for people on the roads, they're encountering, encountering a number of hazardous situations. We want to show you one of the multi-vehicle accidents that occurred earlier this afternoon. This is southbound I-75 at Dix Toledo Road. Some 30 vehicles involved in this mishap. We're told three to four people have been transported to the hospital as a result of injuries with these accidents as well. The freeway closed southbound I-75 at Dix Toledo Road. They're in the clearing stages now, but this has been a mess. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is in one of our uh, Action News vehicles along with photographer uh, Dave Kalman. They are heading to this scene now to continue coverage. Julie? driving right now. We're trying to head to Allen Park uh, on the Southfield Freeway where a semi-trailer has jackknifed. It's one of those semi-trailers that carries um, vehicles to dealerships back and forth. So a dozen or so vehicles involved in that accident. As we made one pass by, we saw people actually trapped in their vehicles waiting for emergency crews. The freeway traffic is just backed up for miles. And people are at a standstill because there's no exit right in that area. So everybody's just sitting on the freeway. If you're coming that way, definitely try to avoid the area. Take Allen Road to Telegraph or another way like that. Uh, we're going very slow and steady as the road is. Actually, we're kind of coming up to 94 East. I'm going to turn the camera just to kind of show you what the traffic is like here because of that accident. I don't know if you can see the cars at a standstill, they're just frankly, they're not moving. There's nowhere to go. I mean, this is the heavy snow that's been falling, and it's kind of intermittent, and that's why people are getting into accidents. We're seeing the snow come and go. We're seeing it build up on the roads, so things are definitely icy out here. Again, we're just trying to take it slow and trying to get to those areas where these accidents are happening. So we will have more reports for you on later uh, shows of 7 Action News and be breaking out throughout the afternoon. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Julie, thank you very much. Uh, Julie Bonovich with photographer uh, Dave Kalman. Uh, this is video of another of the accidents that occurred. Again, we had multiple multi-vehicle accidents today. This is northbound Southfield Freeway at Oakwood. Some 15 to 20 cars involved here. Again, the road closed uh, in this area as well. Again, numerous accidents all across southeast Michigan. These quick moving snow squalls brought uh, quick dumpings of snow, made travel hazardous, and as a result, these accidents have occurred. I want to show you some other locations now where accidents have occurred and roads have been closed. Eastbound 94 at Greenfield. Also, the southbound Lodge Freeway closed at I-75. A couple of vehicles involved there. Also, southbound I-75 at Mack. Several vehicles involved there. And southbound Lodge at West Grand Boulevard, a couple of vehicles affecting all lanes. Again, the road closed there. And another closure just into the 7 Action Newsroom now, southbound Southfield Freeway at Ford Road. That uh, roadway is also closed, at least two vehicles involved in the accident there. So numerous problems. This has been occurring since about noontime today when these snow squalls starting, started moving through the area. Again, it may not be snowing where you're at right now, but you may encounter one of these on the road, so do be careful. Hallie Vogel is here. She's checking uh, radar. She says these could continue into the evening, so do be careful if your plans call for you to head out onto the roads. We have complete coverage on WXYZ.com. We have our reporters and crews uh, out on locations uh, checking on uh, these accidents and the well-being of people stuck in their vehicles, and we'll have complete coverage as well at 6 o'clock tonight on 7 Action News. This has been a breaking news alert from 7 Action News. Stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ.com for further developments.